What's going on everyone? I'm Jared Eckert and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take you through the day in the life of somebody who lives in their car. Sorry, you just hit that. I'm gonna go through my current lifestyle, sort of day-to-day -day activities, and how I manage living in a little hatchback. So we're going to go through my day and I'm taking you along with me, and that way you can kind of get a sense of what I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So, without further ado, this is a day in the life of living in a car. looking okay uh, the time is about 10 o'clock and today I don't have any work so um, so I'm gonna kind of get some chores done um, just like living in a normal house uh, there's plenty of things to do inside the car as well and just like a house um, it can get kind of dirty in here so as you can maybe see this up a little bit it can get pretty dirty inside um, when you're kind of moving around in and out it can get pretty cluttered sometimes I just start throwing my stuff around and uh, it gets a little dirty so um, I'm gonna clean my car, get it nice and tidy, and then once I get it tidy, I'll probably go somewhere to get it vacuumed out. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done that, so it's a little, a little gross in here. So, time to clean the car. Now, I'm not gonna film me cleaning my car really too much. Mainly, I'm not even trying to set up the camera, mainly because it's uh, a little time consuming to, you know, set the camera up and show you that I'm basically just folding clothes and putting them in a box and moving some stuff around. So I'll give you like a little before visual where it's just an absolute, <laughs> an absolute, um, shit show for lack of a better term um but after i'm done you know kind of I'll, I'll, I'll kind of give you a before and after um just so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's not an absolute disaster and then maybe i'll go over a few of the things that i did to tidy up i mean like i said it's really self-explanatory i'm just folding clothes putting them in boxes putting camera equipment away that I kind of used and then just threw in the back. So um, you're not going to see much cleaning, but that's uh, that's part of day in the life of living in the car. So now I've kind of tidied up a little bit. You, you might not be able to tell all that much. Um, there's still some stuff I need to throw away and get rid of. But like I said, most of this is just me folding clothes and putting them in a box and kind of just making sure all my camera equipment is squared away. So I'm going to go and vacuum my car out now. Now, there's uh... <laughs> Are you even in focus? Alright, I think so. Now, 
on my days off, uh, there's a lot of times, I shouldn't say a lot of time, there are some times where I'm just kind of sitting and doing nothing and I try and make those moments as productive as possible where I'm filming uh, a video or writing a video or editing a video so I can make the most out of my free time. But in all honesty, sometimes it's really hard to find the motivation. Being in this living situation can get pretty demoralizing uh, if I'm being completely honest. You know, I've been in this car for nearly six months now and it's finally nice outside so I can like park the car in the shade and have the windows down and not and it not be completely miserable but you know if my friends are at work or busy and I don't have work and I'm not dashing or or whatever it can get pretty lonely and it can get emotionally taxing so there are times where I just sit here and people watch kind of think about how i'm going to improve my state of life and yeah i mean uh, this is the non-glorious part of the nomadic car living lifestyle but it is part of it and anyone who's watching videos like this Wondering if it's for you, this is kind of a real, raw account of how sometimes, just like all aspects of life, can be a little disheartening. So right now, I'm just kind of hanging out, gonna try and bust out the rest of this video, and then, yeah, sometimes I'm just hanging out. Alright, so it's currently 5.28 and around this time of the day, depending on what's going on, um, I'm probably gonna start doing some DoorDash and I only started doing this about a month or so ago, um, but it's been nice little... <clears throat> But it's been a nice little supplementation to my paycheck that I get from my normal job, which is uh, working at a grocery store, which I probably put before this in the video, but I'm filming this part now. Um, so around this time in the current area where I'm at is a peak pay time. So there's usually an additional two or three bucks for every delivery. So I try and position myself in a certain area this time of day to take advantage of the peak pay. So we're gonna do some DoorDash. So it's about 9.20 blaze it here and uh, this is about the time of night I attempt to get some sleep. Um, if I can't crash at a friend's house, uh, obviously I'm in, the, um, I'm in the car. So in a previous video I like showed that, you know, I would have like the back seats all folded down and everything and that's what I would um, sleep on is like the back all flat and laid out but I have found that it's infinitely more comfortable to just lay the uh, the front seat down and and, and sleep there um, maybe if I had like some kind of mattress or bedding in the back it would be better but it's just uh, it's a little easier this way too so 
I have work at 4 a.m. so I'm gonna try and catch some Z's and uh, I'll see you then. Good night. All right, <clears throat> it is, uh, can we see that? That's the time and that is the time I typically go to work. Whatever, this is out of focus. Uh, obviously I'm a little tired uh, even though I've been working this shift for uh, years now, but um, so I'm at my job. Um, I'm about to go and clock in. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing until about 12:30 p.m. The shift can be a little grueling coming in this early, but I'm so used to it by now, and it allows me to kind of get other stuff done with the rest of my day so today's sunday which is technically my friday so <sighs> all right it's time to grind out another day at your neighborhood grocery store see you after <sighs> all right so it is about 12 30 and i'm out of work and it's a beautiful day so now that I'm out of work, I've been up since four, but usually around this time of day, like I said, I'm really used to this shift. So usually get a second wind, uh, especially when it's such a beautiful day like this outside. I try and take advantage of it as much as I can. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good today. Relatively high spirits. Like I said, it's beautiful. Whenever it's nice outside, I don't know how you can be in a bad mood. So maybe uh, we'll call up Nicholas, see if he wants to hang out. Uh, regardless, I'm gonna do some more filming, probably film this video and a few other videos that I have coming down the pike. So, 12.30, out of work, day off tomorrow, beautiful weather. We're feeling good today. We're feeling really good today. I know I had like a little somber part probably earlier in this uh, video, but feeling good today. So, Let's continue with this day in the life of living in the car. Dude, do we wanna, do we wanna, do you guys wanna see if Nick will answer me? I think he's with his, uh, no, let's see if, let's see if Nicholas wants to answer me. Let's see if he wants to film or something. I'm hungry too. Get some grub. Hi, Nick. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's good content. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. Uh, so what are you doing? Are you, you trying to hang out? Are you trying to film? Uh, I'm literally hanging too. Are you recording still? Yeah, you, you want me not to? It's top secret, guys. All right, it looks like uh, Nicholas is too busy for his best friend, so... Um, we're gonna get some filming done. Gonna make good use out of this beautiful day, so let's get after it. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some context, some insight into what it's like to live inside of a car. If you are somebody who's thought about diving into this lifestyle, I hope I've given you a good representation of what maybe a 
a normal, typical day is like, and, and I hope it's helped you make a decision on if this kind of lifestyle is for you. I know some of us are doing it out of necessity, like myself, and hopefully this will give you some reassurance that you're not alone in this and that you can get yourself out of it or that you can thrive in such an environment. And with that, it's the end of the video. Please consider like and subscribing if you did like this video, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.